below people of the internet. I'm just going to stick with that. Um, so I just finished watching the four new Steven Universe Future episodes, and it's very late when I'm recording this, so my voice sounds tired, but that's why it's like, it aired, it aired kind of late for us. So yeah, I just finished watching them, so I figured I'd give a little brief review of what I thought of the four. I don't really have much to say on most of these, aside from like, uh, two of them, maybe? <laughs> But, but yeah, um, I have some thoughts. So the first episode, Little Homeschool, I think, I think it was really, like, well done. It was a nice little, like, like, it was mostly just exposition, but it was exposition to a new character that, like, needed this exposition. So, like, it's a clever way of introducing us to everything that's happening. So they're, like, I mean, we basically get the whole picture. They're, they're just getting gems that are still corrupted and healing them and putting them in school. <laughs> We saw we saw little tidbits of it here and there, and that's probably all we need. But it was it was cute. That that whole thing, that whole setup was really well done. I liked the moment with Pearl and Hollow Pearl showing the others how to use a phone. That was that was really funny. That was cute. Uh, and then you know, obviously the thing I have to talk about is Jasper. And I said in my previous video that I didn't want her to be redeemed. She really wasn't. She's not, like, evil, but she's not going to change in the way that Steven wants her to. And honestly, thank God. Like, finally, we at least have a gem that doesn't do that. Because I just feel like, like, I, I feel like every single other gem just kind of not went along with it. That's not the problem. It just, I don't know. All of them just seem to be swayed too easily. And those that weren't didn't really mean anything. But, you know, Steven actually fought Jasper. That actually meant something. Oh, uh, yeah, Steven fighting Jasper. That was really cool. Um, I wanted them to do that more, but they didn't, sadly. But, you know, and they also introduced the whole Steven going fully pink thing. I thought they did that very well. It's a, it's a very good starting episode. It, it sets everything up believably and doesn't, like, rush it, I suppose. It's, it's, it is just an information spiel. But it's an entertaining information spiel. It's like what um, Happily Ever After in Steven Universe, the movie, is... It, it's like that. This episode is that for Steven Universe feature. So yeah, I think we needed an episode like this. It was very cool. I like the... I know we didn't see her much, but I like the new uh, Quartz character. Cherry Quartz, I think the, the fandom's calling her because they love... Cherry picking the names. Huh? New one? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Very good starting episode. Uh, I know Roundtable's gonna go crazy about Jasper coming back. Uh, I mean, crazy going either one of what... Either way. I could see him, like, being very... I could see them being very pleased or very not pleased. Either way, they're going to freak out. So, uh, they have enough... They, they have way more viewers than me, but, you know... Go watch them. They're cool. And, uh, I'll have to go see their spaz attack over Jasper. <laughs> but yeah, and the second episode was Guidance. And this one I thought was clever. And I thought of a metaphor that totally, they were totally going for with this episode. With the whole, um, gems actually liking their, their given roles. Steven's obviously like, no, 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 rebel. Y you have the choice to. And, I mean... <laughs> The gems just like doing what they were doing, so they stuck with it. That's kind of like, this is going to sound very weird, but it sounds a bit like gender roles. Like, I mean, like, from that lens, the episode is basically saying, if a girl likes makeup and having her hair long and ponies and sparkles, let her. If it's, it, it's, her, it's her choice to like those things. And same goes with, like, a guy liking, like, Star Wars, best thing I can think of right now, but, you know, things that society associates with males. Like, it's okay to like those things, even if you were kind of assigned to like them. I, I feel like that's what the episode was trying to get at, and I think it did that very well, because the gems were actively choosing it. Like, Amethyst talked to them, and they were like, I want to do this, and Amethyst is like, okay, do that. 
while Steven was being the one to force them into roles just in a different way. I thought that was very clever. Good job. Good job, guys. That was clever. Uh, other than that, this was a pretty light episode. It was still good. I liked all these episodes, for the record, but this was probably the least of them. I love seeing Smoky Quartz. Don't get me wrong. That was great. And all the uncorrupted gems. Freaking, oh my god, I already forgot her name. I think it was little Lorimar liking the screams of the children. <laughs> what are you getting at, guys? That's so weird. <laughs> That was so ridiculous. I like the laughter of the children almost as much as I like the screams. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> but yeah, they, they were, that was cool. I like those guys. Smoky Quartz is great, as always. I love seeing fusions because, you know, fusion is cool. Uh, I think that's all I have to say on that episode. I'd also, you know, had Stephen. I can't speak. I also had Steven turn pink again, so, I mean, they're clearly, like, leading up to something with that, and I don't think volleyball was the end of that. I think that's going to be a recurring thing. That'll be interesting. I, I wonder what they're getting at with that. Like, we already kind of saw what they were getting at, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Aaron, is that you? For God's sake. No. I'm in the middle of reviewing these episodes. All right, very cool. Sorry, that was my brother. He watched the episodes with me, but uh, too tired to review them, he says. Very tired. Yeah, sure you are. Um, all right, next episode is Rosebuds. This episode made me very uncomfortable. I know that was the point, but it made me very uncomfortable. Oh, God. I might have to rewatch it get, just to look, get some specific lines. This one and the next one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to rewatch so I can hear some of those lines. But like, they were doing everything in their power to make the audience uncomfortable. Obviously, a new time viewer isn't gonna get that same experience. But you know, us fans who have seen every episode or nearly every episode in some people's cases, and are, and know what Rose is like and what all these things mean. Dear God, it's so uncomfortable. Like, one of them, like, the one in the frame that you're seeing right here, like, like, like that even, it even looks like her. Like, in the promo, when I saw that part come on, even in the actual episode, I was like, that's our rose. Why is that our rose? And then, oh God, the part that, I mean, obviously it's not her because the gem, gem placement, but I really know that at the time. Wait, no, the gem placement's the same. It was the, I don't even know. It, it really is a spitting image of her. Why did I think her gem was somewhere else? I'm going crazy. It's it's like, it's it's 10 o'clock, okay? <laughs> Aired late. But, but yeah, but yeah. Anyways. Um, oh, come on. What do you want now, Aaron? Middle of video, go. Sorry. Oh, my God. The rose quartz were really cute. and Although, the one with the spiky hair was. I just, I love characters that are just so enthusiastic about their interests. It's, it's really cute. Just, 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 mm. I like seeing it characters happy, okay? Is that so much to ask? I, I, I literally geek out over some characters smiling. It happens. But, but yeah. It was cool. I do like how it's resolved. Oh my god, I have to say this. The part that really got me with the discomfort factor was when they were they were watching a movie that's all cute and then they were like let's watch this one next and they turn it on and it's the tape that rose gave steven and it's just like oh god why oh god the fact that they were uncomfortable too and they admit that by the end that was cool i didn't really see that coming i, I like that that's actually touched on that it is awkward for them but it's awkward for reasons they can't really control so like it's understandable, even if it's a little mean and a little unfair, but it's understandable. I, I like that. And I like the resolution that they kind of treat them like siblings. I, I don't know. I'm sure we won't see these characters ever again, because uh, Steven Universe Future, there's six more episodes, and there's a, there's six characters, there's like seven characters that haven't appeared yet. I'll talk about that at the end, but yeah. Oh, oh, it was cool seeing the 
the humans in the zoo. I was wondering if they'd ever resolve that because honestly it was driving me crazy not knowing like like what happened to them? Are they still there? They just they pilot the ship with the Famethysts apparently. I don't know why Holly Blue is still there. I don't like her, so it was good seeing her in pain. Yeah, there's only four characters in Steven Universe I hate, and she's one of them. The others are Kevin, Ronaldo, and Aquamarine, if y'all are wondering. I don't really hate Pink Diamond or Jasper, but you know, those are separate cans of worms. But, but yeah, that was cool. Freaking Holly wanting an order from the diamonds. It's so weird. I don't... Uh, there are gems like that in my fanfic, too. It made me uncomfortable to put that in. I don't know why. It's like... Why are some of them still so dedicated to them? It's just... Why do you take pride in enforcing these shit rules and being a jerk? Ugh, really don't like Holly Blue. Now, I, I will admit the part where she says that um, all the diamonds ever want to talk about is Steven. That was, that was funny. I'm sorry. That got, that got a little giggle out of me. I mean, I watched the movie right before, so... Because it was airing, you know... <laughs> It, 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 it's it's funny. It's with me. <laughs> okay. Last episode, I really want to talk about this one, was volleyball. I had no idea why it was called this. Because it seemed like the volleyball thing was, was like, barely there. It was just the at the beginning. And then they name Pink Pearl Volleyball. Why? <laughs> I just realized. I didn't put a spoiler warning at the beginning of this video. Shoot. I'll put it in the title. If you're this far and complaining about spoilers, I'm sorry. You should have clicked it off by now. Anyways, anyways, Pink Pearl. I love her. I love her. She's Sweet Bean. I've loved all the pearls. Just all of them. In different ways, obviously. Yellow Pearl, because she's such a snarky little shit. And Blue Pearl, because she's adorable. And our Pearl, because she's, she's so freaking relatable and salty. And this one, this one's just cute. Like... Oh god, protect this pearl. She's so freaking traumatized. And she keeps making excuses for pink. And oh my god, I, I, I need to talk about this. This is my biggest takeaway from all of these episodes. And this actually legitimately made me upset that it was Pink Diamond who cracked Pink Pearl's eye. I was, I was fucking livid. Oh god, I shouldn't be cussing. Whatever, whatever. Just, just, mm. Swear warning too. Um, it's it, it just I that was a theory for a while. There were two theories actually. The the two theories were either White Diamond broke Pink Pearl's eye or Pink Diamond broke Pink Pearl's eye. And I was of the opinion that White Diamond did it because that made sense. It just both of them had tempers. I could see, although like Pink, I just couldn't see her hurting hurting someone like that. I, I don't know. Because she did seem so compassionate. Maybe not at that age. I, I don't know. It, it just ugh, it kind of bothers me how they keep trying to villainize her. Like, why at this point? It's, it's not worth it. You already got the whole fandom hating her over the whole Spinel drama. And, okay, that was a shitty thing to do, but... God, it's getting to the point where, like... I'm not defending Pink's actions at all. What she did sucked, but, like... Ugh. There's a reason she does it. And this was accidental, but it's still, like... Ugh. Oh. Why? God. Why? 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 I didn't want this entire section of the review just to be me screaming why, but that's what it ended up being. I'm... <sighs> Both of them would have made sense, I admit. Now that they explain it in the episode, even Pearl was with me on the whole, oh my god, what White did to her was terrible. And I mean, don't let her go scot-free on this. She still brainwashed her. If you try and turn that in her favor, I'm quitting the show. I like White Diamond and all, but like, her past actions are bad. Like, really bad. Don't justify that. Oh, God. And stop vilifying Pink Diamond. You don't need to at this point. She's a freaking flawed human being. Human being. Not really, but, like, she's a flawed gem. She just doesn't... <sighs> okay. Sorry. I I'm getting a little tired of them constantly vilifying Pink Diamond when I did relate so much to her situation. 
I don't know. I mean, there's also the fact that she did want to change, so there's that. But it's Steven's point of view, so he's just going to keep seeing her as a shitty person. And she's not the best person. That doesn't mean she's pure evil. The show better touch on that. Okay, can I talk about something else? <sighs> sorry, sorry about that. Okay, it was interesting seeing the dynamic between Pink Pearl and Pearl. Yes, I'm still going to call her Pink Pearl. I know the episode calls her Volleyball, but I mean... I went on the Steven Universe wiki before this. Even the wiki still calls her Pink Pearl. Like, yeah, that's her name. She's pink and she's a pearl and she belonged to Pink Diamond. It, it just makes sense. And I'm glad that they... I'm, I'm, like, I like the, the growing bond between them. Like, Pearl is essentially is, um, initially resentful towards Pink Pearl, which makes sense. I was surprised Pink Pearl wasn't a little more annoyed but like at, at Pearl replacing her, but... I also kind of like the whole, um, how they did something so weird with Pink Pearl, like, this is not how I imagine her at all, which is fine. I'm totally fine with them breaking my, uh, my theories and my, my fanfiction if it means a good story, and this was a good story. This, like, this is a real, this is like, this, this is a person that exists in the world, and, like, someone who's just constantly making excuses for for someone. Abuser. Mostly victims of abuse making excuses for their abuser. This got heavy. Um, I'm gonna have to put like 8 million warnings on this video. I I'm sorry. These aren't really scripted if you couldn't tell. But um, uh, yeah, that was, that, that's Pink Pearl. That's, that's, that's how she is. And like, people are like that, and the fact that the show kind of says that is kind of heavy. I mean, I, it's just... This show can get so heavy sometimes, and, like, I'm glad they're still sort of carrying themes from Change Your Mind, but I, I'd like them to do that more, because, like, oh, this is hard to talk about for me, but, like, that's, that's good in a way. I don't know how to quite explain it, but, um, can I talk about happier things? Pink Pearl and Pearl fused. I didn't see that coming, but I, I loved it. Like, the, when it started happening, obviously, I was like, they're fusing. Oh, my gosh. And apparently, the name of their fusion is Mega Pearl. I found that on the wiki. Apparently, it was in the credits. The internet works so fast, I swear. Also, we might have just gotten it a bit later than everybody else did. But, um, yeah, that was... That's so cool. I love how it looks. I love how how she looks. <laughs> the voice didn't change. I was I was confused. Like, are they just gonna make it Dee Dee Magna Hall? Like, I know both of them are voiced by Dee Dee Magna Hall, but like, she's doing different voices for both of them. It's just our Pearl's voice coming out of this this tall, regal, beautiful thing. I I love Mega Pearl's design. I I kind of knew. That I, I wanted a pearl fusion, like two of the pearls fusing. I would have liked it to be yellow and blue pearl, or all of them. I, I think that would have been great. Oh my gosh, like I'm looking at the design right now. I love the hair. I like that the crack in the eye still remains. That's a nice little detail. And the freaking crown. It she looks like a freaking queen or king or whichever. <laughs> Gosh, that's such a that's such a good design. I love it. I, I this is this is probably my favorite episode. It's gonna be the one I rewatch the most because like I was talking through a lot of this one. This one got me very emotional. You know, mostly with how they wrote Pink Pearl and I'm a little surprised there wasn't a bit more um what the fuck white diamond <laughs> moments in there. Obviously, our pearls like. Really, White Diamond, you're terrible. You were terrible to that pearl, not to her face, but like she said it, like as you were walking, like, oh, how she, how could she be so careless? That was so horrible. Like, I'm amazed that I, I guess because she wouldn't remember it. I don't know. I was really wanting like a like a flashback of um of of Pink Pearl being all like like how was she brainwashed? I I don't know. Or, I mean, I guess, we, I guess we know how. We, we literally saw White brainwashing other people and change your mind. But, like, I don't know. I thought that would have carried a bit more weight with her character. I guess it didn't. 
lots of things that I put in my fanfiction for Steven Universe didn't end up being true, but hey, in my defense, I wrote that, like, before the movie came out and after Change Your Mind, and obviously they're not my characters. I don't know what Becca Sugar intends to do with them. Hopefully not shatter them. I'll be very, very upset. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit hypocritical for saying that, but, it, it, you know. So I was actually going to look at my my wish list. So we got uh, Pink Pearl backstory and Jasper not being redeemed. That's, that's it. That's all we got. I really should have put a new fusion on that list, too. And we did get a new fusion. We got freaking Mega Pearl, and I love her. She's cute. Yeah, I'll just... I'll type that on my list now. So, so far we got three out of one, two, three, four, five, five of my wishes. So, yeah, um, I don't know if we'll hit all of them, but three out of five. I totally didn't count that right. Hold on. Um, three. I can't count. <laughs> Three out of eight. God. Ugh. I'm not usually this delirious when it's this late, I swear. But yeah, um, those were the new Steven Universe future episodes. I'll do this for the... I'll probably just do them all in one video again for the the next ones. Um, I believe next we're getting Bluebird and a very special episode. Yes, we are. And I'm more excited for Bluebird... But I'll, I'll put both of those in the same video and then, you know, do the rest of that. I'm wondering, like, how much are they going to put in these episodes? Because, like, these were pretty, like, light and fluffy. I get that the, it's just for tying up loose ends and they do that very well. Some, some last world building and tying up loose ends. I think that's a very clever thing to do because, like, stakes-wise, you're not going to top Change Your Mind and the movie. You're not going to top, like, like, those are the highest stakes we've ever gotten in the show, but I don't know, I don't know. Like, we still gotta see, like, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I know what episode lapses are gonna be in, but, like, we still gotta see that giant worm thing. Whatever the hell that Cactus Steven thing was. Whatever the hell the deal was with White in the promo. Like, you can't just put those things in there if they don't mean something. Like, you know... We did see the Uncrafted Gems, but, like, also, Lapis, Peridot, and Bismuth haven't appeared yet. Like, at all. <sighs> I'm probably just being impatient, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just want them all to be out. No Spinel, either. Uh, I think we are definitely going to see the off-colors, considering um, this promo image that I'm looking at, but y'all aren't looking at. You're just looking at the beautiful form of Pink Pearl. <laughs> She's cute, okay? I want to give her a hug. But, but yeah, that's, um, that's confirmed. But, like, I don't know. How are they going to fit it all? So far, it hasn't felt too rushed. They are 11-minute episodes. Obviously, it's going to feel a bit smaller than Change Your Mind in the movie. But still, it's, I'm just a little concerned of how they're going to fit all this into six more episodes, like, an hour of content is left, and you set up a lot of crap to to go through. I can't think of any specific loose ends that haven't been tied, but I'm sure there are some. What was in the chest? What was in the chest? But, but yeah, I got a few of my wishes, and these were good episodes, so that's my summary. So far, a good start for Steven Universe Future. Let's see where this goes. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.